say it to me. I'm speaking my piece, and I'm here with Trevor talking about your race today. What did you like about it, and what do you hope to improve on? Um, I really like my mental approach to it. I was excited to run. I was ready to compete. Didn't execute that well. I stumbled out of the blocks on like my second, third step. That kind of put me behind. Felt like I did a good job attacking the second turn. And then I just didn't really trust my stride power in the last two hurdles. That kind of set me back more. But so I, there's a lot of stuff we can fix. The way training's been going, I know we're ready to pop a fast time. So it's a matter of making it happen on meet day. No, absolutely. So you're talking about, you just talked about training and there being a lot to fix. When you go back into the lab, what are some of those things that you would be working on if you guys looking point yeah, we gotta be a lot more aggressive at the start. I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm in the mix. By the time we get to hurdle five and six, last couple meets I've been in the back half of the group. That first 200 is just not setting me up to run fast the rest of the race. That's gonna be the main thing to fix. Do I see handwriting Yes. Yes. Oh wait, can you tell me um, why that verse? Tell me what the verse is and why yes. that verse on your hand. So I'm gonna be honest. I don't memorize word for word. At least not part six, but Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6. And it was, put your trust in the Lord, do not lean on your own understanding. So for me, I had not a good race at LA. Didn't have a good race today, but I'm not. I'm going to put my trust in the Lord and not lean on my own understanding. Because his timing's perfect, his plan is perfect for me. And this is just part of that plan. So it's just really trusting the process and knowing that even though things aren't great right now, He's got something great for me down the road. No, amen to restore it times, two times, ten times four. Exactly, exactly. No, I love that. And what do you think is the biggest lesson you've learned during this Olympic cycle? Trying to enjoy every moment. Um, it can be really stressful, especially for me. I've made the last couple teams. I haven't made an Olympic team yet. So it can be really stressful, especially if you see, like, when your competitors ran a fast time at a meet they were at. It can be really hard to, like, stress yourself out and psych yourself out. But that doesn't help anybody. So just really stay focused on yourself. Enjoy the process because there are times you might not like doing this. But at the end of the day, this is your dream. This is a dream job. So just really make sure I enjoy it and not take it for granted. Okay, so a couple fun ones. If you had to call one USATF athlete to borrow $100, who are you calling? Grant Holloway. That was quick. Why Grant? Grant's the homie. I know... I know he's willing to help me. We're really close. I'd help him. So, and I know he'll probably answer the phone if I call him right away. So, no, I love that. Do you have, obviously, we're coming up towards Olympic trials in Paris. So, do you have a favorite Olympic moment that you watch, whether in track and field or in another Olympic sport? Um, honestly, I don't think so. Because there's a lot of great moments to choose from across. Whether it was like Michael Phelps in swimming, Team USA men's basketball, the men's 400 for hurdle final for Tokyo, like there's so many insane moments to choose from. But I don't really have like a set favorite that comes to mind. And then my last question, my show is called Speak Your Peace, so I have to ask you to speak your piece. So do you have an unpopular opinion or a hot take, or is there something where if someone asked you to give a TED talk about it, you put it? Speak your piece. Okay. Um, unpopular opinion. Going to the movie theaters by yourself is a move. It's a great move. Um, I'm a big fan of it. I do it every now and then. It used to be kind of embarrassed because you have to ask you like ticket for one, but now you can order tickets online, so it's really not a big deal. That's one. Um, room temperature water is the best kind of water. Get that, get that ice out of here. Unless it's like a hard workout, get the ice out. Um, I believe when you go to a restaurant and get like a hamburger, this it should start plain. And then you add, so I shouldn't have to be like, can I get a cheeseburger with nothing on it? It should be like, could I, could I get a cheeseburger? Then you add the toppings and you want all of it. I agree with all of them. I, they might not be that hot of takes, but those are, those takes I feel very passionately about. What's the last movie you watched for your second movie? It's been a minute. Um, I think it was the last Jurassic World movie. I think that was the last one I saw by myself.